Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to be doing my NCLEX study routine slash how I passed in 75 questions video. Um, as you may have noticed, I just passed my NCLEX. <laughs> and now I am trying to extend the favor to one of you guys. So I know a lot of you are from the nursing community and some of you may be in nursing school and some of you may be studying for your NCLEX. I wanted to do a giveaway. I'm gonna like clean up. If you want my notes, I'll keep them in there for you. I don't know if you would care. I could definitely keep my notes in here if you really want it, but I can take them out with whoever wins. But I want to do a giveaway. I do have the NCLEX RN flashcards. I use both of these resources actually more so in nursing school than I did for the actual NCLEX. And I think that's why I felt like pretty prepared because I was using NCLEX resources from the very beginning. To win these two, um, this is the NCLEX Q&A flashcards. I use this a lot in farm. Um, they have it categorized by systems, I think. There's like neurological, pharmacology, and I still have all the cards for that. I remember my mom forced me to buy this and it was like $56. <laughs> And yeah, it was kind of pricey, but I thought it was helpful because it was very um, concise. So if you want to win those two, um, all you have to do is follow me on both my Instagram accounts. Follow Alex on his Instagram account and um, subscribe and comment down below. Um, what should I have them comment? Comment like where you are in your nursing journey because I know that you guys have like watched me for a really long time And I want to know where you guys are because I want to kind of get a gist of like where my followers are at and Yeah, I'm gonna make this um, a US only giveaway Sorry if you're out of the country, but if you are within the US go ahead and enter the giveaway and Let's just get into the video today. I'm gonna be filming my NCLEX how I studied and passed in 75 questions so just a little bit of backstory of like how I am as a student. Um, okay, so I did fail a class. <laughs> so if you really think that like you're dumb and you can't pass, you can pass because I passed. Also my fail was a big wake up call and it made me work like 300 times harder, which is why I learned my content so well in nursing school. Okay, that's all bye. I also actually did really well in school. Like most of my other grades were A's, except for that one class, <laughs> basically my background. I did use, um, I bought Saunders a long, long time ago, like all the way back in OB, and I kept using that for practice questions, so a lot of them I already <laughs> went through, and I kind of like highlighted throughout the book in nursing school, and that's what I would use. First, I'm going to go through the resources that I use, and then kind of explain them. So, I did actually graduate on August, let me see, I finished my exam exam August 12th. I sent in my BRN application on the 13th, and I got my ATT to test on the 29th. Okay, so on this August 14th through 16th, we did have an ATI live review. I'm not going to talk that much about it because I didn't really... Um, it was a good review for me, personally, but everyone was being really loud, so it was really hard for me to like concentrate. But... I mean, I get it. It's really hard because, like, we had already graduated. But we did the live review. They gave us this book. Um, I didn't use this book, even though I, like, even asked on my Instagram, like, which book should I use, Saunders or this? The only thing that I used in that book was one section. It's section 16, and it's just the lab values. And instead of carrying the book around, I just photocopied the lab values, and I stuck them in my NCLEX, like, notebook. And my NCLEX notebook has no rhyme or routine or whatever it is. I really just wrote all the notes that I could think of and yeah. A lot of them are from UWorld. Um, that's another resource that I use. Um, I'll not, and I'll talk a little bit about that. So UWorld, I was my primary resource. Um, I know everybody talks about UWorld because it's a really, really good source. Just using UWorld when you feel like you know your content. It gauges kind of like where you are. So for UWorld, I had started using it. Um, I believe I started using it like the first week of September and that's when I started actually doing some questions. Um, and then I'll talk about my scores. All my UWorld scores weren't good. <laughs> 
like in the beginning I would score like 40s and that was like my baseline um finally around September 14th I got the self-assessment and I did that on the 14th because initially um oh my god I keep forgetting stuff I had a job waiting for me afterwards on October 7th which is why I needed to get it done like ASAP so I took my assessment on the 14th thinking that because I told my recruiter or my manager like I'm gonna take it on the 20th like even though like I didn't even register for it yet because I was like okay well I need to give them a date they want a date so I gave them the 20th because I just I was like maybe mid-September like I don't know I hadn't been studying when they offered me the job like on the 6th um I took my self-assessment on the 14th um I scored very high which like if you didn't watch my NQEX vlog you should watch it but um shameful plug <laughs> also Alex is over there Hello. Um, but yeah, so my score was very high and you know, it ranges from not likely to pass to like very likely to pass and there's like a bunch of stuff in between and then very likely is the highest. Um, I was really shocked to see that it was very likely because at that point I had only really been studying for maybe like a week. But then from that point on I was like, okay, I think like most people would be like more reassured of that. I was kind of reassured, but then I was like, is your world even valid? Because like, why am I scoring so high? Because I feel like I know nothing. Um, and if you don't know what the self-assessment is, it's a hundred questions and you take it and it's timed and it's almost like the NCLEX. I really love your world because it's just like the exact same setup as the NCLEX. So when I was sitting in the NCLEX, it really felt like, and you're going to hear this a lot from other people, it's, it feels like another U world test. So... From then on, from the 14th on, I had done a hundred, at least 150 questions a day, at least. So I would usually range from 150 to 250 up until like the 18th. Yeah, so it was only a couple days, but I like really hit it hard because I was like, I don't want to have to sit for this exam again. Um, I wasn't initially going to take it on that day. I actually did reschedule it or when not reschedule. I actually scheduled it for the eight, the 28th of September because that was the only available date. I ended up moving it. I, the first time I moved it was the 27th. And then finally midweek, maybe like on the 16th or 17th, I started getting really burned out. And if you study for NCLEX hard enough, you'll probably go like as crazy as I went <laughs> because I was like crying every night. <laughs> Um, it's, it's like hard and you know you're working like your ass off if you're really like pushing yourself to that point. Um, I don't regret studying the way I did because obviously it helped me build the stamina to take my test the way I did. So I do suggest, um, doing at least 150 a day. Kind of like the routine I had was that I would... Because I knew I wanted to take my test in the morning. Like, I'm not really a morning person, but I test well in the morning. I had essentially, whenever I got up around, like, 8.30 in the morning, the first thing I'd do is, I, like, I'd get ready, like, tie up my hair, and then I'd sit down at the desk over there, and I would take 75 questions, you world, and it would be of every category, and I would just sit through 75 questions. For, maybe I did that for, like, a week or two. Um... And that's, that's what I felt like really, really helped me because I have a really short attention span. And when I'm testing, even, honestly, even during the NCLEX, I had, like, stared off into space. Like, I'm, I think it's a generational thing. And I think it's because of the internet, you know? I trained myself to sit there for 75 minutes. If I needed to pee, I'd go to the bathroom. Um, that's what happened to me during the actual NCLEX. I ended up having to go to the bathroom. Um, and that happens and it's okay. That's how I start every single day and I think that's what made me go crazy <laughs> Because yeah, like immediately I wouldn't go on social media I wouldn't go anywhere I would just sit down do 75 questions and then I would like go to the gym after and then I'd come back and then review the questions that I got wrong and I only wrote my self-assessment questions in here um, other than that, um, I didn't really write down my questions. I know a lot of people learn that way, but like I didn't After I had done like the hundred self-assessment questions and written them down with the explanations everything I was like this is pointless like I'm not really learning anything um, So yeah, 
just do what works for you i know a lot of people do right but that wasn't helpful for me and i felt like doing that 100 questions took me so freaking long and i didn't learn that much so just do what works for you my last resource that i really used was the mark climate um content review and if i can find the link i'm pretty sure i saw the link um i listened to those audiobooks audiobooks the audio recordings and there's a lot of recordings um and i mean a lot of recordings so they're about like an hour to each i don't think i necessarily needed the content review for the mark climate review but i felt that i after the self-assessment, that's when I started listening to the Mark Climate. I didn't start from the very beginning. If you really need content review, I highly, highly recommend him because he's um, he simplifies a lot of it so that it's specifically for the NCLEX. Also, he like makes sense of the NCLEX and he always talks about like the herd mentality, and I think that's what really like motivated me. Um, the way I learned in nursing school was by recording lectures. Oops, sorry, I wasn't supposed to do that, but oh well. Um, but I would record them and then I would listen to them and then like personally like if there were like sounds I would put it into iMovie and I would crop it so I wouldn't have to hear the sounds like I edited it myself and while I was editing it I would listen to it and that's what helped me so listening to his lectures were really good um, if you do need a content review take notes on it I didn't take that many notes I took a couple I did OB because I didn't really I don't know, OB didn't, it stuck with me, but I hadn't reviewed it in like months. I maybe had like six OB questions at, at maximum. I know like some people like they get, their whole test is like maternity. That wasn't for me. Like my test was, I felt it was a lot of psych and farm. And those were my two biggest subjects that they, um, they used against me so finally I changed my NCLEX date and I moved it to the 21st I that was like probably the best decision I have ever made because moving it on a Saturday there was less people because I went all the way to like it was like really far from where I live so I didn't see anyone I knew and I felt like seeing someone I knew would put pressure on me I know some people like go to the testing center with their friends but I'm like, if I do that, then I'm going to be like, why are they finished? But I'm not. So I didn't want to go with anybody because I was like, if they finish before me and I see them leave, I'm going to panic. So I wanted to go to a testing site where no one was at. So I went pretty far. But on a Saturday and I was super happy because it was at 10 a.m. And usually I was waking up at 8.30 and doing the questions. So I was like, I usually wake up around like 8 or 7. So I woke up at like 7 a.m. that day. I jogged, I stretched, I took 5-HTP, I didn't drink caffeine, I did not, like, I did everything. I was praying to God from the minute I, like, woke up, um, and, like, that's what I did the day of. The day before, I really didn't do anything. Um, I just reviewed lab values, um, and definitely know your lab values. You don't want to be stuck on a question for a really long time just because you don't know lab value. Because if you don't know lab value, just click something and keep going because that then you just don't know it. I think that was the biggest thing. Um, some people I read on Reddit that they do account for how much time you're using. I felt like if I got hung up on a question for too long, um, I would just move past it. I would just be like, okay, please God, let this be the right answer, and then I'd move on. Because if I didn't keep going, I'd be stuck on a question for five minutes. There was one question I was stuck on, like, for five minutes. And there's no reason for you to be on a question for five minutes. That is way too long. Because then, at that point, you're just second-guessing yourself. And if you change your answer, it's more than likely going to be wrong. Because that's what I noticed in my world that I was mostly wrong whenever I changed my answer. Um... So yeah, those were my primary things that I use. It was, I use lab values from the pink book. Um, I just use Saunders throughout nursing school. So if you're in nursing school, I definitely recommend buying it. Um, what else? Uh, the Mark Climic, I'm gonna link that down below, like whenever I get around to it. 
because I thought it was super helpful and somebody had posted it on Reddit and some gracious soul posted it, thank God, because his class is expensive. Um, I did read over um, the NCLEX cram notes. I don't remember where they're from. It was like I searched it online because I didn't bring my own notes to the testing center and I had like an hour to study so I had just been looking over those. Thank God I did because the last thing I looked at was burns and like my like 10th question or whatever was burns. <laughs> so that was helpful. Um, but yeah. Okay. So if you have any other questions about my NCLEX journey, how I studied, um, that's pretty much all I can think of that I did right now. So I really only studied for about two weeks because I graduated on August. Only done on the 17th. I don't know. Went on vacation until like the 21st. Um, I didn't really study until after pinning, which was August 26th. And even then I went on the SD trip with Alex. So I didn't really start studying until September. But for everyone it's different, especially if you feel like you don't know your content. I definitely recommend studying earlier. Um, I thought I didn't know my content, but when you do UWorld and you're actually learning the process of elimination, kind of like looking through the questions, you'll understand that like maybe you do have an understanding, you just you're just not confident in it. I felt like doing UWorld um, gave me the confidence to at at the end, obviously, because then I was finally scoring like mid 60s. So I used Board Vitals. Um, that was provided via ATI from our school. It has some adaptive test. I used it and it lowered my confidence so much to the point where I wasn't even going to take the test this month. So that's why I don't really suggest doing that one. I would just say do you world. Um, but it does have some adaptive tests if you want to feel like you're failing, that's what you go to. So those are pretty much my resources that I use. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to follow my social media at Jazz the Nurse. Um, I'm trying to change it to just Jazz the Nurse. But right now it's Jazz the Nurse underscore or Jazz the Nurse 2. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And, and don't forget to enter my giveaway um, where I'm going to be shipping my NCLEX study guides. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!